Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Tonight we're going to look at how to write a Excel do an Excel document from Java. And Apache has this cool uh, library right here called Apache POI, and it's made for writing Microsoft documents, as we can see right here. So it's not just uh, spreadsheets; it's it's uh, all of the yeah, it's all of the documents that can be written in um, with with this uh, framework right here. But we will start with the uh, yeah, we, we will uh, we will create a spreadsheet. So first of all, what we need to do, we need to import some dependencies. I've, I've created this project as a Spring project by pressing File, New, Project, and then I chose Spring Initializer, Next. And you can see the UI is a little bit different after the latest uh, Gradle up, up, uh, upgrade, uh, updates, then, which I think is really cool. So then I choose uh, Gradle, and that's actually it. I think I use Gradle, uh, Java 11 is fine. And then we have the Spring Web. I added that as well. And then I press next, next, finish. Then I ended up with this project. But I'm actually not using Spring for this project. It was just an easy way to get a project uh, structure. Uh, so, and then I have my build.gradle uh, file. Here, there's two diff uh, important dependencies that we need to add. This one here, that is for the regular Excel uh, spreadsheet format. This is the one, this is for the new format, the XML format, the uh, Microsoft has an, uh, yeah, so the spreadsheet XML format. And if you want to, to use that, then it's the, the yeah, then it's the, this uh, dependency needs to be used there. So just add both of these two, then you are good to go. Then I've created a create spreadsheet service right here. It's very easy to create a new spreadsheet. It's a little bit more difficult to read a spreadsheet. So I'll, I'll save the read, reading part for another video. But uh, first of all, we need to create a workbook, workbook and these can be uh, created in two different formats. The XML workbook, uh, I will try to do that afterwards. Then you can see the difference. And the only difference is actually the format that it's uh, saved in. And then we have the, this is the, uh, the default format, uh, HSSF workbook. So we start by creating a workbook. Then we need to create a sheet inside the workbook. So we take the workbook and then we say create new sheet and then we give it a name. First step to trip to Mars. So it's kind of a plan to get to Mars. That, that's what I'm uh, simulating right here. Then we have this creation helper right here. I'm not using it, but I want to mention it because there's a lot of cool stuff here. If you want to create, um, if you want to cre create hyperlinks and stuff like that, um, there's a lot of cool helper um, helper methods on this uh, creation uh, create helper uh, right here. Uh, actually, I did I did not succeed in creating a hyperlink. I actually tried that, but there's a uh, rich text for a string we can create right here. Then we can have a rich text instead of just a plain string. So, uh, but I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to leave it there in the code. So then you might, uh, you can use it if, if you want to. Then I set the row index and the column index to zero first because I want uh, to have a variable to set, to, so I can see where I am in my uh, document. Then I create a new row. Then I create a new cell with this column right here. And the row right now is row index. And then I add one in the end. That means next time I use this variable, then it would be one instead of zero. I did the same thing with a column right here, but actually I only have this one cell in the in this uh, row, and that is actually why IntelliJ is marking this as yellow. There's a warning right here because I'm actually resetting the column index down here. Then I have some uh, formatting. Um, let us let us wait with that until we have run the um, run the test once and created the, the document once. Then we can play with some uh, formats. Uh, there's uh, usually a, a question to how we will set the font, and it's not as straightforward as you would think. We actually need to create a new font, uh, but let us look at that in just a minute. Then we have the set cell value right here. I'm creating a to-do list for what to do when we are going to Mars. Um, and then I am creating a new row again. I reset the column index right here. Then I uh, then I create a cell. Remember to bring potatoes and milk for ten years. And then I'm yeah. Then I create some more columns. Blah blah blah. That was just to have some different data types like uh, boolean, and also uh, here we have it a, a double on a numeric value. And then I create a new row again. And then I say bring computer with Li with Linux. And then we say um, a new row again with just one cell. You can actually see here, and I'm just writing this on one line, but just to show that it can actually be done quite easily. You, you don't need to create a, the, the row uh, variable every time if you only have one uh, column that you want to uh, add stuff to. Uh, of course, if you have more than one column, then of course I had to, I would have to set this part right here to a, a variable, of course. And also if when I create the cell, if I want to do anything else with it, except for, uh, yeah, besides besides uh, setting the cell value, of course, I would also have to set the cell value to a variable, so I can, uh, yeah, so I can reach it, uh, reference it. 
And then we have one more row right here. Toilet paper, remember that. Fresh underwear, remember that. Maybe uh, 10 pairs would at least. And then uh, we are writing out the file right here. So output my plane to Mars, XLS. And then we write it. And then I have, uh, yeah, I'm just returning a string. Um, I did not have to do that. That was just, uh, I like to have methods that actually return stuff. I've created a test that actually just what it does. It's actually it's not a spring test or anything. It actually just creates a new uh, create a spreadsheet service and then it writes to Excel. So um, I'm not using the spring party in the test part in, in the test area either. And now it's good. So um, I have my output right here in the left side. My plan to Mars.xls. Let me double click this. And let us see what I got. To do list. Remember blah blah blah. Let us double click right there. Blah blah. Every time there's a red arrow, that means that there's some more stuff. So here we have the to-do list. Remember to bring, yeah, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Look here, we have a font named Arial, and we have a size of 10. And here we have the numbers that we added true right there. We can see that it says true over here. And then we have the decimal value right there. So that is pretty good. I'm happy with this spreadsheet right now. One more thing, if I make a change and then I press save, then this because this is the LibreOffice that I'm actually using. Then it says this document may contain formatting or content that cannot be saved in the current selected file format. And this is Microsoft Excel 97 to 2003. Awesome, right? Do you really want to use the, the Excel format or do you want to use ODF format? Right now, I actually I don't want to save it, but uh, this the POI framework is not for ODF. It's not ODF format. It's not for ODS files. You need another for a framework for that. This is just for the uh, adjust, but this is for uh, Microsoft's uh, formats. So right now, I will not save anything. I just want to to, to show that it actually set in uh, 93, uh, 97 to uh, 2003. Now I'm going to close the file because <clears throat> what I want to do is I want to go to my um, oh, I want to go to my right. Let's just go back right here. I want to cr and let us close all of others. Close others. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to. I want to create this as an XLS format instead. Let us do that, and I run the, my program again, and the uh, XLS file is being overridden. Then I open up my file, and then I, pr then I do some changes, and then I press uh, save again. Now let's let us see what it says. Now it says Microsoft Excel 2007 2013. Much, much newer, right? So, um, yeah, that was the other format that we can save uh, files in. I'm going to, I'm not, I'm not going to save it, so I'll say don't save. And let us play with the font, because let us set the font. So first of all, we need to create a new font, and then we need to set the font height and points. This, that's short, I'm choosing 16, font size 16, I'm choosing the font the Ubuntu. I need to create a new cell style. If I don't create a new cell style, then I will actually set the I've set the font on all of the cells because they actually have the they actually are referencing the same cell style. So that means if I did, first of all when I first tried this I actually I did not create a new cell style. I actually I just I just called cell and then uh, cell and then I called get get cell style and then um, I actually changed the font and then I changed the font for all of the cells. But in this case I only want to change it for this cell right here. So I need to create a new cell style. I need to send the font on that cell style right there. And then I need to sell, set the cell style to the newly created cell style right there. Let us see what happens now. I'll press play. And yes, and you can next, uh, yeah, and then I have my file right here. Oh, now it has some formatting, the to-do list now. It has the font Ubuntu. You can see that up in the top right here. And it has font size 16. I'm very happy about that also. So that is pretty awesome. So, so now we have a little bit of formatting in our in our Excel spreadsheet. So that's how to create a spreadsheet. It's pretty easy to create a spreadsheet. And as I said, it's a little bit more complex to read from a spreadsheet because um, we need to take into account that we can have different data types like this. That's why I've chosen to make a separate video about that. But thank you very much for watching this video about how to create a an Excel spreadsheet and I'm going to of course I'm going to push the code to github as usual so you can find it there if you want a good example for how to get started with writing a spreadsheet in the Microsoft formats the Excel was it 
the 97 to 2003 uh, or the 2013 forward. But uh, yes, thank you very much for watching. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.